I'm Stephanie Genther with ReachMaster. Um, this is Conrad Julio, um, and this is our Blue Lift B72. Um, ReachMaster is based in Houston, and we actually have seven product lines now. Uh, four aerial lift lines, um, ranging from 39 feet uh, working height with this line here, all the way up to 170 feet of working height. Um, with the Falcon line. We also just got Denka back in, which is kind of the mid-range. Um, they're all compact, they're all atrium lifts. Um, and we also have a new PB scissor lift line that is ultra compact, only four feet wide, and actually uh, gets up to 74 feet tall. Um, this is the tallest one. Uh, we also have three material handling lines, um, mini cranes, pick and carry cranes, and little uh, windlet glass installer machines. So. Uh, just to give you some overview, um, this machine here that we're talking about today is uh, Blue Lift 72. It is 100% ran um, off of lithium batteries. It does come uh, as a true hybrid with uh, uh, both a gas, a Honda gas engine or a diesel engine and also um, batteries. Or you can get it standard with uh, just a 110 plug-in and a combustion engine as well. But this one here in particular is all battery. So. Um, its most prominent feature is it's um, ultra compact. It's only, when it's stowed, it's only six feet, six inches tall. Uh, it'll go right now through a double door. It's 37 inches wide. Um, coming up in the next couple of months, which this is brand new, it's actually gonna be 35 and a half inches wide, so it will go through a single standard door. Um, it weighs 6,600 pounds, and um, it's also by far the shortest in its class. It's only uh, just short of 15 feet long when it's uh, when the basket's removed. So um, first we're gonna show you uh, some of the features with the outriggers. Um, it does have auto leveling, so you can basically press a button on the remote and it will do everything all by itself and an alarm sounds when it's all set and level. Um, we typically recommend that you set each outrigger individually so that you can make sure that you don't squish anybody or hit things. <laughs> um, so you see that the tracks, uh, once you get the outrigger set, you can move up. Um, you always want to use the machine in this position. Um, it obviously gives it a lot more outreach, which is one of its best features. It gets 36 feet of outreach when it's um, with full weight in the basket, which is 440 pounds. Um, and then basically the features on the outriggers is that they, they have this joint, which some people say they don't like, but the reason for that is because they can fold up um, so that, and it really reduces the length of the machine um, by a couple of feet. So they do pin up. Um, they also on this model have, there's three different adjustments for the outrigger settings. So there's a narrow setting, uh, which will give you about a seven foot fo footprint, um, a, a medium setting, and then also the wide setting, uh, which will, is about a 13 foot or 13 uh, foot footprint. Um, so it does have some uh, versatility. The other great thing is that you can set up one side on a narrow setting if you need to, and one side on a wide setting. Um, still get full weight in the basket. The only thing it affects is outreach over the narrow side. So um, it has can pretty much set up anywhere. It'll, it'll set up on a slope um, up to 10 degrees and the tracks can actually um, adjust up and down to make sure it stays level. Um, it'll drive up a 15 degree slope um, and then like I said you can set it up in multiple ways with outriggers up, you know, one up, one lower and it doesn't really change anything except for the outreach. Um, some of the other features of this machine are that it um, has canvas controls. Um, it also has, which I think he's going to show you, uh, when you start to extend the machine up, um, you can start, you only need to go a few inches up to actually start going out horizontally um, instead of having to really lift it up too much. So it's, it's great for lower applications. Um, one of the other really important things about this machine is that you can, uh, because of the, the way it's designed with the double stack articulating system and then the telescoping system on top, you can actually lift it up and then go at a negative with the telescoping system so you can go 
up and over obstacles and then actually under them, which most machines don't have that feature. Um, the turret, it has a 360 degree rotation, non-continuous. Um, the basket will go 80 degrees each way, left and right. Um, so I'm gonna let him show you some of that for a minute. And also while he's doing that, one thing you can kind of hear it adjust, but all of the controls are proportional. So um, the engine and the batteries, um, whether it's gas, um, combustion or lithium, uh, the engine only works as hard as it absolutely has to. It's, it's really smart. Um, when you are talking about the combustion engine models, it actually will shut off after 20 seconds of non-use um, just to conserve power. Um, because of that, you can easily get a good solid eight hour workday um, on the battery pack without having to stop and charge it. You can charge it if you want to plug in while you're uh, working or doing whatever you're doing. Um, and then usually what happens is uh, once you've worked a full eight hour day, you can just plug it back in and uh, it'll charge fully in about five hours. So there's, there's kind of the negative that I was talking about how you can get up and over obstacles and then back under them. You can also see, um, as he's extending the machine up, one of the, the best features for this machine, especially, um, it's, a really, it's a really popular feature for the rental industry and also for tree care um, and other building maintenance, is that all of the cylinders are underneath the boom instead of on top. So um, particularly in tree care, when you have limbs and, and debris falling, it doesn't uh, damage any of that. And all of the hydraulic hoses and cables are also housed inside the boom. So there's nothing exposed. It makes it a really hardy and efficient machine. Yeah, he's not all the way up. This machine, um, like I said, I think it has a 72, <clears throat> excuse me, 72 foot work height. So 66 foot platform. Um, it is our most popular model of this line, um, but we have four other models that start at 39 feet, fill in the gap. <clears throat> 